Hey, how's it going? Alex here from Idea Spot, and in today's video, we have a Google Web Stories for WordPress tutorial. Now, if you've been using Instagram or TikTok for a while, you'll know what stories are, but until now, it's been difficult to implement stories on WordPress. But using Google's new plugin, we we're able to add these to WordPress using an official plugin. These look great on mobile. They look great on desktop as well, but they load really fast on mobile. And for bloggers out there, this is going to be good news because this can be a potential new source of traffic to your blog through this plugin. So let's get started. Let's demonstrate how to make Google Web Stories using the WordPress editor and also using page builders like Elementor. So this is what we're going to be doing in today's tutorial. We're going to be making a web story just like this one. They look really cool. This is what they look like on desktop. This is what they look like when they've been embedded into a blog. So this is pretty cool. You can add these to blog posts. And down here, we've actually got one embedded into an Elementor page. So lots of ways we can go ahead and do this. So to get started, you'll need to plug in. You'll need to Google for web stories for WordPress head over to google.github.io. I'll put this link in the description so you can download the beta. It's not officially released yet. It's still in beta, so it's not in the WordPress repository yet, but let's go ahead and download that one. Then in our WordPress dashboard under plugins, add new, we're gonna upload the plugin and then choose that zip file that we just downloaded, webstories.zip and click install. Then we click activate. Once that's done, we'll get stories in our dashboard menu. Let's head over to the stories dashboard. And from here, I've already made a story, but the best way to do it when you're getting started is explore the templates. Open one of these up and start editing it. So let's open up this uh, Explore Thailand one, for example. So making these is really easy. They're basically made up of images, text, and shapes. So you've got your media library on the left here, so you can easily access all the images that are in your media library. And we can go ahead and drag these into the page. So let's change this... Uh, orangutan let's change it to something else let's pop that in there and we can set that as the background and then we want to make this a little bit darker because you can't see the white text very clearly so we can go ahead and add an overlay and we want to make that a bit more opaque so let's make it maybe 60 percent and that looks a little bit better a little bit more readable now this template has a logo there we can just go ahead and replace that with our own logo easily enough there we go just resize that and that looks decent and as i was saying before shapes and text are the other things that we want to learn so this is text here we can go ahead click it and you can edit it i'll just make that a uh, uh, wordpress shall we there we go it's a little bit too big so let's just make that a bit smaller maybe 70 maybe 80 well, that looks about right the other thing we wanted to do was some shapes so let's head over here let's grab a rectangle for example drag that out a bit now let's make it a bit more narrow and what are you doing, Alex? Why are you covering the text? I'll show you. You can actually drag that layer behind there and let's change that layer to something a bit darker, shall we? And a nice, maybe a deep blue color. There we go. And let's make that, uh, let's actually align that into the middle of our page. Uh, there we go. And let's, let's get those lined up with that. There we go. So that looks pretty cool. The other thing I noticed was transparent PNGs work fairly nicely in here too. So here's a picture of me. Um, I've got a transparent background on myself here. So um, you can see the background behind me and I'm just gonna move myself back a little bit there, slide it across. Anyway, you can, you can play with the layers there and get the layering how you'd like it to look. Might put that up there maybe. Anyway, that is the idea. And you can select multiple things at once like that go ahead and slide this up a little bit, make it look a little bit more balanced. And the other things in the template, you can go ahead and um, have a look at them, edit them in the same fashion, delete them out if you don't want them. But that's basically all the skill you'll need to build these stories. Then it's just a matter of heading over to document. You can change the logo, you can change the cover image as well. So grab a cover image here just by clicking the pencil, grabbing something out of your media library for the cover and set that as the cover image then you need to make sure you have a title on there. So I might just call that demo uh, story. And then we can go ahead, save the draft. It'll set the permalink to whatever the title was. So a demo story looks good. Make sure your titles aren't too long. They recommend maybe five words, I think, as your title maximum. Keep them a bit shorter than what you'd use for a website title. Google's guidelines actually recommend a maximum of 40 characters for your title. So just keep that in mind. 
And finally, you can actually add links to any of these elements like images, you can add a link in there. So I'll talk about that a little bit more later because you can add add to cart links, affiliate links, links to your blog, whatever you like, but they do recommend only one link per page and one affiliate link per story. So just uh, don't make it too spammy. All right, so when you're ready, go ahead and click publish and that will go into your stories. Now we can go ahead and view our story and that will load it up and that's exactly what we just built. So back in our dash under stories, all stories, we can see the story we just made and there's the story I made earlier. Let's actually open this one that I made earlier. So on my fifth uh, part of the story here, I actually added an add to cart link here. So if I scroll down, you can see this, there's an add to cart link. I'll show you how to build one of those. So if you're using WordPress with WooCommerce, you can actually market a product here. And when they click this, you can actually send them straight to your WooCommerce cart. They can go to the checkout. So this is a way you can actually market products using these web stories. So that is a pretty cool little feature besides using it for affiliate links or links to blog posts or whatever. So you want to head over to your products list, the all products list, and just hover over your product and get that ID number. This is 331. So remember that number? Then you just want to make a link with yourdomain.com slash question mark, add to cart equals that number, and then copy that link, paste it into your story, and you can add things straight to the cart from the story. Now, you don't have to remember all that. Just head over to my blog. I'll put a link in the description for my blog where I've got a complete guide, and you can just copy that link out yourself and just change your domain, change the product number, and you're good to go. Now that we've made a story, let's actually embed one of these into a blog page or a post. So just hover over the story that you want to embed. Let's get that link, copy the link address. Let's head over to posts and let's see all our posts here. All right, now let's just grab a post that we've made earlier. We're gonna edit that post and then we're gonna go ahead, make a new block and the plugin will actually give us a block called uh, web story. So let's select one of those and paste that link in that you got from your story and embed. Then it's just a matter of centering that story to the middle of the blog page and then go ahead and click update. That's all there is to it. What about using a page builder like Elementor? Well, I've got a page that I've built in Elementor here. Let's just scroll down and we're gonna add a new section. We're gonna call this uh, an HTML widget. Drop that in there and we're gonna paste a bit of HTML code that I've written here. We're gonna use an iframe, 550 high, width is set to auto and the source is set to the link to the story then end the iframe. If that sounds complicated, don't worry. Just head over to my blog, link is in the description. You can go ahead and just copy that code out and change the link all by yourself and you're good to go. So back on Elementor, I do think this looks a little bit better if you click the section and rather than using a boxed content width, use a full width. I think that looks a little bit cleaner myself, but totally up to you. Let's hit update. Now, Google does have some technical guidelines and best practices for doing these, but I've summarized that on my blog as well. But basically, we're looking for complete, simple content, not commercial ads, not like a promo device. We want simple, snackable content. Each page should be less than 200 characters, so that's about 30 words per page. Use a minimum 24 font size. Five to 30 pages, ideally 10 to 20, so um, we can totally get something like three to 500 words on a story. I think you could make a short blog post into a story quite effectively. Use a short title, avoid using long form video. We want short clips only if you're using video, one link per page and one affiliate link per story. So that's about it. I've put links to the actual uh, technical guidelines here and the best practices. The best practice is pretty cool because they have some do's and don'ts on um, uh, how to make nice looking stories. So uh, make sure you go ahead and read those from my blog. I've got links here and here. So check that out. So Google Web Stories for WordPress, I think it's going to be a very useful function to add to your blog. If you haven't built a blog yet, go ahead and check out my tutorial where I can start completely from scratch. Very detailed tutorial on that one. So definitely click that video and check that out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.